The saga continues on the political front, it seems. Uh, Olumide, divisions have emerged in cabinet of whether President Umaru Yaradua should actually hand in uh, his resignation or not. Some still maintaining that he remains fit to govern. What is the best way forward here as far as the markets are concerned and as far as investors, both local and foreign, pouring money into the markets are concerned? I think the most important thing is that um, investors look for stability in the environment and the political uncertainty tends to weigh on the Nigerian market. Um, we've seen in the last, um, since January, the market I mean, steadily rising, but there's still the big question, how do we resolve the political crisis? Um, the legislators are getting a bit um, antsy and I mean, they're trying to review the constitution. There are talks that they will review the sections that um, pertain to the government, I mean, the president handing over. And I guess um, there's some sort of consensus that, you know, there can exist a power vacuum for too long. And people are beginning to ask tough questions. And I think even the cabinet ministers are under pressure in order to deal with this situation to ensure that, I mean, we actually, you know, have a closure to the issue. Well, hopefully something emerges sometime soon. In the meantime, we're seeing the market ticking higher day to day, but suggestions have been made that it's actually speculative interest that's pushing things up on the Nigerian market. If you look at a stock like international, uh, international breweries as well, speculative interest, they're saying, driving that share price higher. Are we then risking a quite a bit of a correction on this market in your view, where the run may well be based on speculative play? Um, well, we think you have to put it in context. First of all, the market is coming from a very low base um, in itself. Uh, people have certain expectations um, with regards to, uh, you know, results. The banks, yes, have, I mean, everybody expects that the results will be subdued. Um, but with the introduction and the talk about the asset management company that's supposed to, I mean, be introduced sometime before the first quarter, we're expecting that bill uh, to be passed um, in the first quarter. So people are saying, listen, all the bad news has been factored in. Um, it's perhaps it's about time that we start to, you know, look at the future potential of some of these companies. And if you talk about, I mean, certain sectors, they've been relatively insulated. If you look at, I mean, the breweries and the conglomerates, results still, I mean, tends to be strong in those sectors. Um, so. You, you can't stamp out, I mean, uh, speculators, I mean, definitely. And, I mean, you know, a few people will try to position and ride, I mean, on the bull run. But generally speaking, there's still value in the market. The market is still relatively underpriced. Well, while we wait for concrete data to actually support that bank succession plan announcements and then prospects for dividend payouts as well seem to be igniting some investor interest as well. Good enough reason in your books to be optimistic about the way forward here and uh, be optimistic mystic about results uh, as we see them trickling in not too long from now? I think, yes, uh, cautiously optimistic should still be the watchword. Um, um, at the end of the day, some companies will probably still disappoint and will not come in, I mean, where I mean, investors um, want them to. But generally speaking, um, what investors are trying to do are who do you select? I mean, what are the competitive advantage of certain companies? And um, you'll see that because, for instance, the banks really took a huge knock in 2009, and I mean, were really punished um, with a lot of the bad news, a lot of the provisioning. But now, I mean, I mean, investors are looking. You know, there's so much. I mean, this is as bad as it will get, mm -hmm. and people are beginning to say that. Well, you know, if the AMC comes on. If we resolve some of the political issues and, and you know, um, if the Niger Delta security issues are concerned, that perhaps, you know, um, the potential for the economy as a whole and for companies within the economy to thrive um, just might be quite strong. And I, I think that is, I mean, what investors tend to look at. And because the market has had two very, I mean, difficult years. So um, I guess people are beginning to say, fine, we should be cautiously optimistic. Well, well, very, very quickly, because we uh, have run out of time here, Guaranteed Trust Bank is one of those that's uh, expected to announce script and uh, dividend for its 2009 financial year. What's your view on GTB at the moment? Last week, we saw that share price uh, advance about 8% by the end of the, the trading week. Um, GT um, has been relatively on skate, and I use the word relatively. Um, the market expects them to come with some I mean, very strong earnings. Uh, the words on the street is that you're going to do a script issue and that they will have a generous um, um, 
dividend. Now, most banks um, perhaps will not be in that position. So investors are tending to reward them. And, um, and we expect them to meet expectations.